What I see uh, a lot of that has happened in the cutbacks in the, f in the last few years is you've really eliminated sort of a middle um, layer of experienced reporters, the kind of people that when I began working in newsrooms, I learned from within the newsroom. Uh, as those people have left the profession, you have younger journalists now coming in who don't have that same um, practical experience of being able to turn to the guy who's been covering investigative news for 20 years or 10 years. And so they're not left with the same internal resources that you used to see in newsrooms. So somebody has to fill that gap. And if it's not uh, professional organizations like IRE, I don't know who's going to do it because the on-the-job training that used to exist in newsrooms across this country has been hollowed out. IRE has been an important part of my life, and as I said, I've always recognized its, its importance. It's always helped me in my career. It's helped me learn uh, everything from computer system reporting as part of the, the NICAR, uh, to learning what other reporters are doing, networking professionally so I can reach out to other reporters and listen and learn. Uh, but now I really see the role that's going to fill in the future, I think. The, one, of the, one of the most important functions is going to be replacing that institutional knowledge that used to exist within newsrooms uh, in the new media world, not just in the hollowed out mainstream media newsrooms, but in the developing uh, new media areas like uh, the blogging communities and the, the um, the, the nonprofit startup communities. I mean, IRE is going to be the glue that holds that all together.